Okay, let me explain what this page is. We are doing a projection perspective of a building. And in this projection at the top of the page, we have a station point, and this represents where we're standing looking at this building, and this is the floor plan of the building, and it has a wall thickness. We are standing outside the building. The next thing we have is the picture plane back here. And along at the edges, the very ends of the picture plane, are the vanishing lines from our station point. They go up and away and they meet the picture plane. The next thing we need to do is label our corner points like this. A touches the picture plane, B is to the right, C is to the front, and D is to the left. The station point represents where we're standing outside the building, looking at the building. We're seeing the front corner here and we're staring back directly to the back corner of A. Our vanishing lines then become these parallel lines that are parallel to the floor plan and if we were to point in that direction and this direction this would be our vanishing lines then that become the vanishing points on the picture plane. So this is the picture plane. You'll notice I have color-coded the walls. So the back wall to the left is green, the back wall to the right is blue, the front wall to the right is red, and the front wall to the left is yellow. So here's a view of where we're headed. A, up here, brought straight down, crossing the horizon line, becomes the true height corner and the only place where you can measure um, heights from a ruler. Then I drew in green here the wall that represents the green, um, the green line, and then respectively the blue along the back, the red, and then the yellow. So this is what the building would look like if it had translucent walls of color. Notice how big the front corner is and how small the back corner is. Things in the foreground closer to us are much bigger than things in the background. The first thing we need to do is draw in the true height corner. And we get that from corner A and follow the dashed line straight down to where it crosses the horizon line. Our overall ceiling height is 15 feet and the scale is every quarter inch is three feet. So from the horizon line we count down five and from the horizon line up we count up ten for a total of fifteen. Alright, the next step is to align the vanishing point left with the zero point and draw the line out and vanishing point left with the wall height and out and then from the other vanishing point, vanishing point right and we're trying to be as accurate as possible any little hitch and it throws the whole drawing out of whack. There are the two back walls. The next step would then be to find corners D and corners B. And we do that from the station point and align the station point with corner D as accurate as we can and draw up to the picture plane and put a mark. And then we come down from the picture plane Again, as accurate and straight as you can be, and with your, if you were doing this on your drafting table, it would um, be much better. And I know that the walls intersect, so I only need to draw the line as it touches the left wall. Now we do corner B. I gotta do it this way. Corner B, station point and up to the picture plane 
and then back down. Again, it only needs to cross the wall line where we have it. I look like I'm a little bit crooked there. Now we can work just in the, the bottom half of the drawing here for a second. We know that where the wall line touched the ground line here, we can go from vanishing point left and out across the floor and make it, make it longer than we need it to be. We're going to need that a little bit later. And then we can align vanishing point on the right and make it longer than we need to be also. We can then do the same thing for the ceiling lines. Ceiling line here, vanishing point right, and draw it longer than it needs to be. So there we have our box. Now, the question is, does corner C at the top line up with corner C at the bottom and the top together? Do they line up? Oh, I got lucky. I did it right. So my drawing is going to work. We don't project point C because it's so close to the horizon line, or the um, station point that it can be distorted. So we build the box and let the box tell us where corner C needs to be.